Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out a bunch of $1 makeup. You heard me right, all this stuff is literally a dollar. I kind of can't get over it. And looking at everything here makes me want to order even more. I went online and they actually have even more stuff that caught my eye. So before I get ahead of myself, we're gonna of course try all of this madness that I have in front of me for a buck and do a full face of makeup. But if this does go well, then I think maybe there's a round two in me because actually just like at first glance, this looks like it might be good, you guys. I'm kind of wowed. So I wanna share with you the one thing that I did not get and I actually like kick myself. I'm like, wait, I thought that made its way into my cart because I purchased all of this myself. The one thing that I didn't get was foundation. So I am gonna test out a foundation from Ofra. I got this in P and I've just been really curious. So I was like, what a better time to try this out than just kind of trying other new things. And I don't think this is terribly expensive. Let's do some investigating right now. Ofra, you are a lot more pricey than I thought. I was thinking it would be around 25 bucks, but this foundation right here, the Absolute Cover Silk Peptide Foundation is $40. Usually there are discount codes, you know, floating around online. Other influencers might have them. I still wanna try this. Some of you guys are probably gonna be like, Tanti, it's a dollar makeup, why'd you do that? But I don't have foundation here and I just, I don't know, I'm really curious, I can't wait. So we're just gonna go with it. And also I'm not trying to make this makeup look bad. Like I wanna try these highlighters, I want to try their mascara, the shadows, and I'm not gonna just do a sloppy job. Like I really wanna see if we can make this work. So the first thing I'm gonna test out is this AOA Studio Wonder Skin. So this is a dimethicone based primer. It's gonna have that blurring effect. I'm a little bit nervous to use this. It doesn't smell like anything just because the ingredients are a little bit different than other silicone primers. It says it may contain yellow iron oxide. Why? And it has butyl carbon, has butyl carbonate, phenol, la, 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 la. What am I putting on my face? Oh my gosh. My face might fall off by the end of this dollar makeup challenge and I like ruined my YouTube career. <laughs> it actually doesn't feel half bad, to be honest. It's not as thick as the Smashbox primer, but it's not as thin as the J-Cat one that I recently said that I didn't really like that made me oily, so it's kind of somewhere in between. All right, we are gonna test out the Ultimate Cover Foundation from Ofra. Oh, that looks really dark. This is the shade, this is shade seven. <gasps> She's already knocking things over. Shade seven. Well, let's try shade five. Yep, there we go, shade five. It's gonna work. I don't have a makeup wipe in front of me. I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe and I'm also going to dampen this Beauty Blender knockoff. It looks just like a beauty blender. This is the AOA High Def Sponge. Uh, it is a latex-free dollar sponge. Let's see how this goes. Dang. It's a grower, not a shower. That's what she said. Like it's almost softer than a beauty blender. This might be so good, you guys. I can't wait. Alrighty, I'm actually going to use the Beauty Blender dupe for my concealer that is $1. But to apply my foundation today, I really do wanna use my Clarisonic just because it's so good with this kind of a liquid. And I have to kind of give you guys a little last minute reminder. The discount code for Clarisonic is over very soon. Check the details in the description box below so that you can get 20% off if you wanna choose any of the holiday gift sets or one that comes with with the foundation application device right here. Um, you guys, every time this code goes away, I get emails for like the next month of like, it's already over, like can you bring it back? Could you maybe bring it back? And I am not in charge of their company, so they only do a small window because it is such a big discount. Uh, yeah, just wanted to remind y'all. <laughs> what was that noise even? Oh my God. Wait, am I using the right color? Let's try another like lighter shade. Maybe the shade just looks weird because it's like somehow darker when it's spread out on my face. We're gonna go with shade three. I don't like this foundation. Uh, that's my first take on it, but it's just a weird kind of a color thing that happens when you are blending it, it almost gets darker. It's kind of strange. So yeah, I did take a little bit of this sponge and dabbed up a lot of the excess. 
and just tried to like further blend and then blended down my neck a little bit. But right now I am not really a fan of the foundation. So moving on to actual dollar makeup, we are gonna go in with this concealer right here. This is the Wonder Cover. And I think I wanna use this shade 2309 Light Ivory. I will be blown away if this works. Oh my God, it actually looks like it already kind of like exploded in here. And I have not like swatched or tested any of this stuff. That actually looks like a crap ton of coverage though, right? Way back in the early ages of life when we didn't have iPhones um, or the ability to like order this kind of thing online, like I would actually buy makeup from the 99 cent store. And I'm a firm believer that you can make anything work. Do more expensive products work better? A lot of the time, yes. But you can make anything work. I mean, look at this before and after before she's tired, stayed up too late, ate too much salt or whatever. Over here, we're covered, concealed. It might crease in a little bit, but my point is that's not, this is not terrible for $1. Yes, concealer is not half bad. All right, we're gonna go on to another cream product and I have three of their bronzers. These are all different shades, believe it or not. I was like, oh, some variety, that would be really great, you know? But I got them in and I'm like, this looks the same. So there is sand, cocoa, and hazelnut. Let's do a quick little swatcheroos. Oh, sweet love of Lord. Oh, wow, that was really hard to get open. Oh. How are you supposed to put this on your face? That This one is cocoa. I guess they are a lot different. They look really similar in the tube. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, we won't be using that one. I think I really like the cocoa shade. So I'm just gonna go for it. This is not my normal thing, but you know, this video is about trying new makeup and maybe a new technique. So I am going to try to bronze. Oh, this could be a really big mistake. We're just gonna sunny up the face with this. Oh, wow. What do we think? Do we like it? I don't know how I feel. I mean, part of me is like, oh, that wasn't too terrible to blend out. I don't really like a shiny cream bronzer. Like, I don't like that it's shiny, but it's not totally awful, I guess. Ugh. I do wanna set my face a little bit and I don't have a powder. So I am gonna take my Cody Airspun powder. It's around five bucks for a giant tub. So we're keeping it really inexpensive with that. Hold tight. All right, I'm just gonna set my under eye area. Sometimes if a foundation is not giving me enough coverage or just enough evenness, and I don't have time to redo things, I will just go extra hard with the powder. And that does seem to help. All right, so while we are baking, I know I look totally amazing. I wanna do my brows and mascara after all this powder has set because it's the little details sometimes that can destroy your makeup. If you have a lot of powder on your face like this and you do your eyebrows and then you take a brush and wipe it all away, a lot of those little particles will kind of grab onto your brow hair and really defeat a lot of the hard work that you did. So we're gonna press pause. We're gonna look totally crazy, but that's okay. And move on to the eyes. Now I did get a powder bronzer. This is the Amuse Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna use this in the crease as my initial transition because I have a bunch of metallic shadows here and I want something matte in my crease. I am gonna use this on my face too, but I just needed something like this in the crease. So we're just gonna go in. Actually, that's quite nice. Hmm, that blended so nicely. Now we're gonna go into this metallic shadow. This is the eyeshadow. It's literally just called eyeshadow. Color is number one. Let's see if I can open it. I'm actually first gonna do something a little bit daring. I'm gonna go into the darker brown. I'm taking it on um, not a crease brush and it's not quite a flat brush. It's kind of like a miniature MAC 217. And I'm gonna go in to the socket of my eye with the tip of the brush about halfway and try <laughs> to create a little more dimension. I know this is shiny and I normally don't work a more shiny shadow like this, but we're trying to get it done on a budget, you know? So then I'm gonna go back to this brush right here and blend some more. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna grab that brown shade again, and I'm just gonna focus this on the actual lid, but on the outer portion. And there is fallout, but fortunately that powder is gonna catch it. 
I'm gonna grab the plum shade right next to the brown and go in a little bit closer to the center of my eye. You can't really see much of the color difference there, but I want there to be some type of a gradient. What's nice is these are actually going on really well with just a brush. And I do also wanna say I'm not using any Fix Plus or water or anything, just dry on a brush. And for that, I think these are pretty gosh darn good. I'm gonna see if I can pump up the intensity by grabbing it on my fingertip. And yeah, you definitely can work up the intensity with your fingertips. Most metallic shades will work that way. I think the only drawback so far is that there is a lot of fallout. So I'm actually very happy that I'm baking today because it's just gonna make the cleanup so much easier. All right, now I'm gonna take the champagne shade in the middle and I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just kind of really, oh, shoot. Mind blown, we're having a moment. That's actually really beautiful. A little chunky, but look at how bright that is. Wow, that's pretty. One dollar shadow. Actually, this is less than a dollar because you get five shades in here. All right, it is time to kick off the bake. So we are going to do that. All right, I'm gonna take the brush that I kicked off my bake with. I'm gonna go into this matte bronzer and I'm gonna go over where I contoured with the bronzer a little bit. It is time to do my brows because we get to this place of makeup where I'm just like, I look so crazy. Uh, we need to fill in the brows. It makes all the difference in the world whether you do makeup or no makeup. Like a little brows have to happen. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Pro Eyebrow Pencil. <laughs> I love that it's a Pro Pencil for a book. And this is in dark. I have two shades here. Let's look at the other shade. I also have brunette and they are double-sided so you get a spoolie on one end that looks a little bit red for me but we're gonna try them both because why not and i'm just gonna go in with the spoolie and brush my brow hairs up first i normally don't like this kind of an angle thing with brow pencils it's not my favorite but i know there are a lot of high-end pencils that are shaped this way i just always have a hard time with it it's not terrible, you guys. This is actually not half bad. One dollar, oh my God, you guys. I actually would reach for this again, no joke. It's really waxy, so it almost grabs onto your brow hairs and helps them to stay in place. I actually kind of am digging this. I'm so surprised how random that I actually really like this dollar eyebrow pencil. Now, knowing me, I'd probably also go in with my more precise pencil, like something from Dior, like that itty bitty teeny tiny tip, and I would feather it in and make it perfect and then sculpt them out with my concealer that I always use from IT Cosmetics and then add a powder on top, just because I have this thing where I like to layer a lot of brow products, but just using that one pencil, I think it looks pretty good. Moving on, I think we should do a little blush. This is the kind of packaging where you're like, yeah, that makes sense, $1, cool. Uh, this is the first blush I've ever seen that comes with a sponge applicator. I don't really know what that's about. This is the Malibu Glitz Blush and it's just called Blusher Number no. Five. We're gonna take my uh, very fave Sonia Kashuk blush brush, grab some of that color and make it happen. Oh yes, that grabbed onto my skin in a weird way, cool. It's actually a really pretty color though. This is just not blending the way I would like it to maybe. All right, moving on to highlight. I have the Wonder Baked Highlighter. You guys, this actually looks promising. I have not dipped my finger in. Let's just all kind of say a prayer together. Mm, it's kind of like the e.l.f. Ooh, that actually is nice. Reminds me of the e.l.f. highlighter that I love so much where it's almost like you have to build it up and it's not like a blinding highlight, it's just more of a nice glow. So I'm actually gonna use a bigger brush than I normally would. I'm gonna use this little guy right here, take this on the tip and then go right on the high points. All right, dollar highlighter, look at that. I'm gonna take a tinier brush and just do a tiny bit of highlight on my nose. Let's take some in the tear duct now we're gonna go in with liner. This scares me. This is one of those things that I'm like, okay. Um, waterproof eyeliner and it's a dollar. This is the JK Just Color Waterproof Eyeliner in Black. Wish me luck. Huh, okay. 
All right, I am actually blown away by this. It went on really nice. It's maybe not as rich as some of my other eyeliners, but it dries down matte. It has a very firm applicator and it was actually pretty easy to get a decent wing. I mean, it's not the best ever, but I don't hate this. I really don't. So this is the Santee Bold Eye Mascara. It is a waterproof mascara. The wand does not look terrible, but this is not my normal go-to favorite type of wand. So let's just see how much action we can get out of this product. Oh, oh my God, do you guys see that? It's like stringy. Wait, is that a hair? Oh, <gasps> every time it comes out. Yeah, I hate this. Splurge on the 499 Essence Mascara, you'll be really happy with that. Just, this is a pass, hard pass. Like I don't even wanna put it on the lower lashes cause it's just already freaking like getting everywhere. And it transferred quite a bit up here too. No, I'm not having it. Really quickly, I do wanna take a little bit of the brown shade in here and I'm gonna take the sponge tip applicator. I know Christine would be so proud of me right now and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna pop on some lashes really quick that are not a dollar, but I'll be right back. Lashes are on, which made the biggest difference ever. Lashes can always bring a look together so quickly. What I do notice right now is the highlight that I had on is just a little more faded than I would like. So I wanna experiment putting a little makeup setting spray on a fan brush and just kind of seeing what happens. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that did it. There we go. It's time for some fun because I have a bunch of the liquid lips. I have lip liners to match, but first I do wanna try out their lipsticks. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Lipstick and it's called the Lip Lock. It's supposed to be very long wear. I have souffle, latte, and caramel. Oh, 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 oh my God. You guys, this smells like cough syrup. I'm not joking at all. It smells like NyQuil, but we're gonna try anyway. I'm gonna use the Wonder Lip Liner in the shade Blogger. It's actually really pretty. It's more of a firm lip liner, kind of how MAC is very firm, um, but the pigment is there. Very, very orange. This is the shade Nom Nom. Now we're gonna go in with the shade Souffle. Well, I can't, oh my God. You guys, I'm sorry, a pass, I can't. It tastes so bad and it smells just like NyQuil, like cherry NyQuil. We are gonna go in with a really fun color. I kinda wanna test out this purple. This is the shade Tease and there is a matching lip liner right here. This is in the shade Faded, so we're just gonna try it out. Please don't smell like NyQuil. I don't know, kinda smells weird. It's not horrible, but the pigment is patchy and it does feel kind of funny on my lips. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's go through the shades really quick just so we can get a good swatch and feel for everything that they have to offer. So out of the more lilac shades, they have tees, which I'm wearing. Then there is faded, which actually matches perfectly with the lip liner that I used. I didn't realize that. Then we have two navy shades. I have Lit and Bounce. Two brighter orange coral type shades. I have Insta and Doll. Two gorgeous berry tone shades. I think I wanna try one of these. Fab and Drama. More of a nice neutral pink, almost berry tone in the shade Sugar. Then we have two more brown shades. One in Blogger and one in Vintage. And then just a nice nude and this is in Nom Nom. Wow, that dried down really quickly and it is pretty gosh darn sticky. So I'm gonna take this off. I wanna try one of the berry shades. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fab. It almost looks like it has a little bit of metallic. So I'm gonna use the matching lip liner. Some of the lip liners are creamier than others. I feel like this lip liner is so much more hot pink than hopefully what the liquid lip is going to end up being. So let's just see. Yeah, that's a lot darker. So the applicator on this is really hard to work with. It was hard for me to get in this area right here. So it's not really the 
best as far as application and the formula is a little bit patchy. However, this is not bad. For a buck, I think it's pretty great. I do wanna say for, I believe, $4.99, you can get one of the liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild and if you happen to find a sale or a coupon, you can knock down the price even more. I know Wet n Wild is always on sale. They usually have like a 40% off or buy one, get one half off and then you can get extra care bucks or rewards. So just maybe that would be a better formula if you're on a budget and you want a really great liquid lip. I did a whole video on, you know, the best $5 liquid lip ever. And the color that I was wearing in that video is actually very, very similar to this. So I will link that below, but I'm not hating any of this makeup actually. This does dry down to like a really nice, comfortable, not too drying finish. Like it's not bad. I feel if maybe I applied it with a different brush and kind of detailed out the edges a little bit better, it could be really good. So I'm gonna play with a few more of the lip shades for you guys. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, instead of doing a wrap up at the end of the day in a full on wear test, so this video doesn't get crazy long, I think what I wanna do is let you guys know over on Snapchat, I will snap the day that I post this video and let you guys know how everything ended up wearing and and give you full details on, you know, all the makeup a little bit further and maybe wear another one of the dollar liquid lips in that snap story. I'm gonna make a note of it, make that happen. Let me know how you feel about that. I'm always trying to do new things to kind of be in touch with you guys and give you as much information as I possibly can. It's very easy to follow me on Snap. It's just Tati Westbrook, no space. And all the info, of course, will be in the description box below along with your coupon code that expires very, very soon for Clarisonic, so use it while you can. What else do I have to say? I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed with most of this makeup, with the exception of this right here that I will never use again, the lipsticks that smell like Cherry NyQuil, and the blush that was a little bit blotchy. Everything else I feel like went on really great. The concealer was good. I have to say that the eyeshadow was not bad. The matte bronzer was pretty great, especially as a transition in my eye socket. The liner was good. The mascara, oh no, we don't like the mascara. That's out. Hard pass on that one. The lip liners were great. The liquid lipsticks are pretty good. So all in all, I think there was more good than bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and leave me comments below because maybe I will do a part two of dollar makeup because I saw that they just launched a bunch of stuff that I was like, ooh, diamond lip toppers for a dollar. I kind of want to try that. So let me know if you want a part two by hitting that thumbs up button. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging hanging out with me. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.